who wants to work on it. I want everybody to have the opportunity to work on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put up a website, which I will show you. We're going to have you submit your story ideas, characters, worlds. You know, the more complete you can do it, the better. But do something for heavy metal because we're going to leave a slot open to have the audience. It's such a what would heavy metal be without its fans? So, so many people out there have an idea of what the movie should be. We want people to be able to participate where they can be in there. And we've done it before, so it's actually for real. And uh, I think that would just be great. And you, if you have a little voice in you that just put your hand up, that you wanted to be a part of it, you have to do it. Because I've done that before. Look there, my hand goes up. But in a few days, that hand's going to go down. Don't let it go down. Because it's happened to me. When I met David Fincher some years back, I asked him what he was up to or at some charity event, and he said he was doing heavy metal, and I went, I want to do one. And he was very generous. He said, oh, as you should, you know. But I didn't follow up. You know, a couple days later, I started thinking about it. And you have a little voice that says you should. There's a negative voice that you also have that's much louder that says, you know, Robert, he's probably got the best artist, the best directors already on it. What's he going to need you for? So I kind of talked myself out of it and went back home and tried to find another project. But, it, but and he, had said, he had said you should do one. And I still, so I'm going to ask you, you should participate. If you have an idea to do it, do it for yourself. Do it for heavy metal. And come up with something. Really work on it, because I told you to. So anyone says, what are you working on? I'm working on heavy metal, because Robert told me to. So you have an excuse. You don't have to, you can blame me. Turn it in, because one, you might win. And two, um, if he doesn't get in, or if you're using it for something else, a graphic novel, or just a representation of what you were at, where you were at creatively, you should do it. I think it's, it's what's great about heavy metal and what's great about how artists inspire each other. And um, these artists have always inspired me and that's why I do what I do. Um, so we're going to put up the, let's put up the slide just so people can write it down. It's very simple. It's amd.com slash heavy metal. And you'll go there and it'll explain well, you know, what we're doing. And um, you'll be redirected to another site where you can actually upload it, your, your stories, short films, character worlds, full stories, any, any which way you can get it across visually. But don't worry so much about that because really what we're looking for are great stories and characters. And, and you know those worlds. You know, look at a heavy metal magazine, you can kind of see there, there's, there's kind of a formula to the, how those work. It's really who can be the craftiest with it and come up with something that really would be the definitive version of heavy metal that would help. Uh, help us be that. And we're not just doing films, we're also doing stuff, internet and and, uh, and other applications. So you could, your stuff could be utilized and you could be really fantastic to, to participate in that way. So, um, that was awesome. I gotta say again, just on that note, is that, you know, there's guys like Justin Sweet that are doing some work for some other people around here these days. Guys that have been submitting so cool. stuff in heavy metal. And that's when people approach me